Hi, I'm Chef Jeff Trombetta, Norwalk Community College, and we are going to be making a raspberry chiffon tart. So, the difference is, it's a chiffon, so it's lightened with egg whites, versus a Bavarian is lightened with whipped cream. Or you could add both, and you could generalize and call it a mousse. So, but what we're going to do is start with, um, let's see how much egg whites I have here. Uh, about a cup. Okay, so a cup of egg white, and we're gonna go a half a cup of sugar, and we'll wait for the cream of tartar. And we're heating this. Why are we heating this? Uh, egg whites have been sitting in my fridge a couple of days. They're cracked from fresh shell eggs, and so we're basically pasteurizing them. They will whip up better warm. We are going to cook them to 140 degrees. So uh, don't overcook them, you'll scramble your egg whites. They scramble just like whole eggs. And, but we do want to pasteurize them. We do want to sanitize them. And then we're gonna whip them up and we're gonna fold them into um, a gelatinized, this, has, this is strawberries. This has gelatin in it already. I'm gonna show you how to work with gelatin because Actually, that is one of the major concepts that I'd, I'd like to teach here. Uh, so we're going to take um, this raspberry. I don't know if we're going to use it all, uh, although I do have enough gelatin. This is uh, unflavored powdered gelatin, right? Uh, where is that? Okay. And we're going to gelatinize the raspberries. So what we have to do is we have to bloom the gelatin. In other words, it's very granular, so we have to let it absorb. This is just cold water, all right? And about three times, this is an ounce of gelatin, by the way, um, for a quart of, those are frozen raspberries. And don't let this get, uh, it'll kind of solidify. So we want to make sure it's um, well blended, because we don't want chunks of gelatin. We want it all bloomed up. This will harden, basically like a hockey puck. So you get the sense of how it's going to respond when it swells and absorbs the raspberries. So let's let that sit. That's got to bloom at least five minutes, all right? And like I said, it'll be like rubber, like a hockey puck. And it's unflavored. And uh, in the meantime, stir this because it's, it's sitting on a water bath. It's essentially a double boiler. And... Um, um, Make sure we're generating a little bit of steam. I could turn it up. But uh, it's egg whites and sugar. That's it. We're going to add cream of tartar when we whip them up. And we just want to make sure that it's 140. So we have our gelatin bloomed and we have our um, uh, egg whites getting warm. We're going to whip them up. We have our raspberry frozen thawed. It's a little bit pureed. And then we're going to garnish with fresh strawberries. And we're going to glaze them in an apricot glaze. That's classical apricot glaze. This is uh, a little bit of a pain in the neck to make because um, I made this from apricot preserves. All right? Good old smuckers. And, uh, but this is chunky. A preserve means it has fruit in it. And so I strained out, I heated it up. I thinned it with a little bit of water and I then I strained it out and this is the, the fruit the pulp that was left so I took that out because it's classical it's a nice clear glaze to give your tart a shine I have a couple of uh, baked pie shells all right this is a smaller tart that cracks okay because your uh, chiffon is going to be solid enough and you know, it's not gonna seep through. I have this one. So I, know I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I have a lot of fruit. I have some garnishes. I have some meringue uh, kisses that I just dipped in chocolate, uh, a chocolate ganache. And I might as well show you everything, right? What this is, is the pat sucre, the sugar crust. That's the, the, the tart shells I showed you. It was made, whoa, be careful. See how this comes apart? It's a false bottom. All right, hold it gently. And um, so that's the Pat Sucre. 
that's uh, rolled and pieced in there. And I roll this into a cylinder and I'll put this in the freezer and I could cut cookies. This is icebox cookies, right? And I could decorate them any way I want. So it's all about mise en place. You can see our uh, gelatin is blooming. Oops. Don't let this get away from you, all right? I could take the temperature with a thermometer. I could, uh, okay, you're not 140 yet. So, what we have here is All right, sorry about the little tiny camera. So this is the Bavarian. This is a strawberry made from this with the folded in uh, egg whites. And uh, just wanna make sure that my egg whites are pasteurized. So I can take um, some kisses, right? and put that right on there. Whoops, don't go down there. Okay, sinks a little bit. These are not quite set up. Wonder how the strawberries will fare. And um, let's see. We're gonna put, we're gonna dip those in the glaze because they're gonna look shiny because they're looking a little dull. They're still kind of a winter berry. And let's put that, and hopefully that won't sink. All right. So that's not gonna to sink too much, all right? So that's a little bit of a garnish. You have a chocolate meringue, continuity because there are egg whites in the folded in strawberry puree. Uh, it is a strawberry mousse, so you have um, a strawberry garnish. Okay, let's put those aside and, and let's, I think our egg whites are ready to start whipping. Oh yeah, okay. Egg whites are ready. All right, let's do that. And let's do that. And why are we putting the cream of tartar in there? Because, um, It's an acid. The acid helps the, not too much. All right. Eighth of a teaspoon. All right. So now, I don't think, always whip more egg whites than you have, than you have to. So what I'm going to do is um, make a small batch. Just enough to fill the tart shell. And then we can decide how much uh, gelatin we want to add. And we'll go ahead and add that now, right? So let's get, with the egg whites, that'll be enough. So that's a couple of cups, because this was a quart, all right? Now, we have our gelatin. You can't put that in there like this. We have to melt it. So we melt it. And let that go like that. Egg whites are almost up already. They can hold for a little bit. You don't want them too stiff, because then you have trouble folding them in. But they're gonna give this some body. And let me explain something very, very important here. I think that's whipped enough. Okay, let's, let me explain something very important. If you always making a chocolate mousse, I would not have to add gelatin, okay? So let's put that there. All right, that's my egg whites. So that's a, kind of a medium peak. Don't whip them too stiff. You'll have trouble folding them in. All right, they whipped up quick. All right, nice pasteurized eggs. Now, uh, if I was making a chocolate mousse, I would not have to put gelatin in because chocolate, given it's the nature of chocolate, it sets up by itself. A little bit of cream or egg white or both, and you have chocolate mousse, essentially. Now, this will not set up. This is fruit, this is liquid, so you need gelatin. And that's what we're doing here, all right? So let's, uh, 
And now blending that's going to be hard. And I might, uh, you should heat that up, but I'm not going to waste time heating that up. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to, never done before, first time on, stay there. First time, um, okay, so I'm done with my mixer. I'm going to add a little bit of Curacao liqueur too, because uh, always a little liqueur is, is, is very good. All right, it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's like adding vanilla or something like that. And orange liqueur, very fruity, apricot. Like I said, that's classical. I'm trying to put the um, triple sec cap on the, on the, whatchamacallit, on the cream of tartar. Okay, so let's unplug that and we are gonna blend the, the gelatin in with a little bit of immersion blender, okay? That's what we're going to do. So, uh, we're gonna be ready for it. All right, now, you have to make sure that um, this is nice and liquid. It doesn't take much to uh, melt gelatin, about 100 degrees, okay? Turn that off. All right, there it is, that's melted. Just make sure there's no gelatin lumps because it's like tapioca is what it is. You don't want to taste gelatin. I could always taste uh, uh, an inexperienced Bavarian or chiffon on a buffet or a Viennese uh, spread if it's got gelatin lumps. And one, guy, one time somebody tried to tell me it was tapioca. And I said, sorry, I know about this stuff. Um, because it does taste just like tapioca. So now, what we're going to do is we are going to create our little, uh, little stabilizer here, right? To hold our ball stable, right? Just like that, a little wet towel. And we are going to, um, Now be careful. Okay, so only half this gelatin. You don't want rubber. That's the real sign of a professional. Is if they add the right amount of gelatin. It changes with the fruit. And pineapple doesn't work at all. Okay. So I got it blended in there, right? And um, so let's see what we got here, what we have. All right, so now, just like making jello at home, right? Um, you know, you make it with hot water, then you cool it down with cold water. Uh, so we are going to, um, I don't want to get this too cold because I won't be able to fold in my egg whites. But what I do want to do is get it almost set. So I'm in an ice water bath. And whenever you use an ice water bath, it's ice water, not just ice. Because ice is like rocks. And it doesn't coat the surface of the bottom of the bowl. Rocks don't do that. Ice water does it, and it's just as cold as ice. It actually acts colder because, see, this is already set up. Right? See, I could see it getting thicker. And it's much quicker because I didn't warm my raspberries so my gelatin would blend better. Instead, I used the immersion blender and kind of whipped it in there, all right? Now, look at that. So we want to get it almost set, almost set. And I'm pretty sure I have enough gelatin in there. Now, this next technique I'm going to show you is called the one-third, two-thirds technique. It's a common pastry technique. Is you don't want to lose the fluff. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for a little bit. I don't want it to uh, set up on me. Okay, I'm going to add one-third of the amount of egg whites I want in there. And I'll kind of beat them in so I'll lose my fluff. That's the sacrificial part. I'll sacrifice some of my egg whites to blend it in, to equalize the, the temperature. 
then uh, equalize the consistency really. Then I'll take the other two thirds that I'm gonna use and I'll fold them in gently to maintain the fluff, right? So that's the concept. All right, oh, see, okay, so I'll take it off the heat. You see how it's kind of solid on the bottom? Okay, I don't want them in there. So I'm gonna take my uh, whisk, all right? I'm gonna break them up a little bit. Okay, it's gonna be a good mousse, I could tell, all right? Remember we got uh, nice foamy, all right. So take, um, take, um, eh, we'll use this one, that's okay. All right, so I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna use all this, but I'm gonna take that much and sacrifice, right? I mean, I could try to maintain the fluff. This is not meringue, by the way, because of the ratio of sugar. It would be way too sweet, all right? Which I did not add sugar to these raspberries, and I should have. Um, so, um, a little confectionery sugar will dissolve quickly, but I'm gonna taste them anyway. Um, see that? I'm talking about my egg whites. So I already got a good good body going on here. Very raspberry -y. Um, All right, so we're gonna fold in some sugar because it needs it. And uh, all right, always cook to taste. Powdered sugar. I'm not gonna use granulated sugar at this point. I'm gonna go good old Domino. There we go. You know, pastries. A lot of sugar. Okay. So I'm not going to try to blend in this sugar when I fold in my other egg whites. I'll do it now when I have the sacrificial egg whites. All right. Just knead it a little bit. That's fluffy. It's not that much. Probably if that's two ounces of sugar, I'd be surprised. All right. So frozen raspberries, sweetened to taste. All right. Little curso or triple sec or Grand Marnier if you're really feeling a little rich. All right, that's good there. Now the rest we fold in. And now folding in is a lot of people think you have to use a, a, a rubber spatula to fold in, but you could fold in with a whisk. See how I kind of let it go through the, the whisk like that. And also, believe it or not, everybody says there should be no streaks, white streaks in your raspberry mousse. That's okay if there's a little bit of white. Usually if you're piping it out or doing something, they kind of blend anyway. Eventually the white streaks go away. But uh, oh, this has got good consistency. See how it's kind of holding its shape? And this is folding with a whisk. This is folding with a whisk. And now I'm not going to be able to put these shrub rays on top. I have to let it set up in the fridge. All right. And I'm going to taste this. And if it wasn't sweet enough, hmm, got good raspberry flavor, not too many whites. I don't like that. Um, it's good color too. And you know why it has good color? Because I didn't heat up my raspberries. I just thawed them, pureed them. All right, I'm gonna go with that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to pour that in our tart shell. All right, you see that? Yeah. This has nice consistency. You can't pipe it. I could put more egg whites in to make it stiffer, but I'd be diluting the raspberry flavor. Man, I tell you, that's good. Now it's kind of a thick crust. 
I didn't roll it out as thin as I would have liked. So we gotta increase the ratio a little bit. And there's that. And the rest I could put into wine glasses. You know what I'm gonna do? Might as well put it into this one, all right? Mound it up a little bit because it's going to have consistency. I think I have the perfect amount of gelatin. And matter of fact, you're going in there. There we go. All right. So we're going to put that in the fridge. Maybe these are set up more um, from before. Clean spoon. All right, a little bit. And we could uh, melt some chocolate if we want. We could do more garnishes. We could do multiple strawberries. Uh, let me see here. Let me try one. So just to give you an idea what would go on the... So if we could put three strawberries in here, that'd be kind of like a bonus, right? And what we're going to do, that's what we'll do. And you heat, I'm heating up the apricot glaze. And you thin it with water, all right? Do not put it on gloppy, all right? You don't want to see it. You want it to be a nice clear gel. Okay, doesn't take much, all right, doesn't take much, all right, but if you start to boil it, you got to add water because it's too thick to spread. You always got to look at what your application is and to make sure you have the right consistency. Do you need to heat it? Do you need to add thin it? Do you need to thicken it? And then you have to know how to do that stuff. So that's what makes pastries kind of complicated. So that's good enough there, and without making a mess, just want to kind of glaze, all right, a little bit thinner. And we could pour some on there too, so there's like a little layer, um, right? We could pour it on there, so let it, let it drip, there we go, it's all right if there's excess. All right, we don't want to get anything on the rim, if we could help it. But we do want to have a little pull up down there, and then I'll show it to you better on the camera. Okay, we do want it to pull up. This is not that sweet. The raspberries were very tart. I added some sugar at the end, and it could, it could stand to have the... There we go. Pour it in there. All right, so. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, get that out of there with a, because I don't like how it's kind of pulling up on the side of the glass. All right. So that is like a little bit of raspberry chiffon. Chiffon because it's lightened with egg whites with a strawberry glaze, strawberry apricot glaze. So a little yellow looks nice. You can go further if you want and do other stuff to it. Um, but, you know, drizzle of chocolate if you like toasted coconut, but sometimes you don't want to be adding new new flavors. Sometimes you want to just keep it simple. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching.